Guys, one of this year's most highly anticipated releases has just landed here on the Rock the Watch channel. This is the Dassault PRX Automatic Chronograph, and we're going to take a look at this watch today. But before we do that, quick wristwatch check. What am I rocking today? Today I am rocking my Rolex Milgauss. Never get tired of this one. So let's get this bad boy over to the table and take a deep dive into the Tissot PRX Automatic Chronograph. And let's rock this watch. So the Tissot PRX Chronograph is arguably one of the most anticipated releases this year. And my initial impression is this is a great watch, but I do have a few small issues with the way uh, Tissot did some things on this watch for the price that they're asking. And I get it. It's got an awesome movement in it. And it's, it's you know, like I said, it's the, the hotness right now as I'm filming this video. But one of those small issues I have with it is right there. And we'll talk about that later uh, after we get some specs and features on this watch. So let's take a look at the frankly beautiful dial on this watch and then get into some of the specs and features because this is a really cool watch. So this watch boasts a 42 millimeter case diameter and that's across the the um, you know uh, case of the watch the top part the round part where the dial is that's more like a 39 but thickness is 15 millimeters thick so it is a little bit of a tubby watch but i understand that it's got to be that way because the movement it's using and stuff like that it is 53 millimeters lug to lug and that's Technically, the lug to lug is here because that's where it ends, but it actually, I measured it out to here because that's the farthest distance that the watch, you know, that, that the goes because these end links don't really fold in. Lug width is 12.72 millimeters. And as you can see, that's a proprietary lug width underneath here. It is powered by the Valju A05.H31 automatic chronograph movement. It has a sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance. Okay, the bracelet is 28 millimeters, tapering down to 18 millimeters. It has solid links, solid end links. And as you can see, quick release spring bars on the inside. The bracelet is held together with your standard split pins. Okay, the butterfly class, a double deployment butterfly class, and it does not have to be one of those ones where you have to fold one over the other. It doesn't matter. It is to sew, it is uh, labeled with to sew 1853. It's very nice. The brushing on this watch is fantastic. The build quality is so far is, is excellent. Okay, um, so let's take a look at the dial of this watch. Take a nice close up look at the dial of this watch. So as you can see, this is the blue one. I chose the blue dial with the white subdials. It's fantastic looking. I love the, the stark contrast of the blue and white. Now, this blue, I've noticed already that if you get out in the sunlight, it really pops and I'll get some, uh, some footage of that. But it's under certain light conditions. It's a darker, deeper blue, but then it can, it can hit certain lights and come out you know, sunburst and all that other kind of stuff. So as you can see, three o'clock sub dial, okay, is the, let me start the chronograph here. Top button starts the chronograph. Three o'clock sub dial is the 30 minute sub dial. Six o'clock sub dial is the 12 hour sub dial. And the nine o'clock sub dial is the running seconds. And as you can see, it is running smooth as butter. It is, there's no click on that running seconds sub dial, which is very cool to so 1853 at the 12 o'clock PRX in the bottom six o'clock sub dial Swiss made and it's kind of got the 430 date, which is not a problem for me. 
Cool thing about this one is, let's stop that and restart it. Boom, snaps right back. Very cool. Another cool feature about this is, is look at this, that little button. So you're asking yourself, what is that little button on the side? I, have, I haven't seen that before. Is that a helium escape valve? Well, no, because it only has a hundred meters of water resistant. That is actually how you change the date. So let me see if I can get this on camera. Got a little pin here. You just take a pin or a little tool. See, it's really hard to do on camera. Let's watch the date move and press it. Boom. There you go. That's how you change the date. It's pretty cool, man. I'm kind of digging it. So dial is awesome. The minute track on the outside is kind of a silvery color. Guys, brushing on this, build quality. Um, no issues with it. I think it's it's a beautiful watch. It wears beautifully. We're going to see that on the wrist shot. It is a very good looking watch. However, I do have certain things, little small complaints for the price that you pay for this. And I did purchase this. And with tax, I paid full on retail. With tax, it was like $1,825, $1,800, somewhere around there. It was over $1,800, okay? For that price, you should have gotten a better box. This is the box it comes in, and I get it. Look, you're paying for the watch, not for the box. However, comma, this is the same box that comes with almost every Tissot. I had some $200 Tissot V8 Swissmatics, which are great watches, same box. Okay, same standard box. You figure it come in a little bit fancier box. All right, same standard fold out little city thing here's the tag there you go retail us dollars 17.50 and that is full on what i paid plus tax uh by the way i did buy this from teddy baldazar and if you watch youtube at all you know who he is i bought this from his store and i gotta say uh no issues with it Fa uh, good communication fast shipping uh, it was a, a pleasure buying from him so the box is one issue we're also going to take a look at the split pins on this uh, bad boy. All right. It is held together with split pins. If you caught that before, bracelet is held together with split pins. For a almost $2,000 watch, split pins, I get it, they work. But you couldn't go with screw pins? I mean... Uh, Come on, man, split pins. Now, I will give it to them. The links are very small, so it's gonna be a lot easier to size it up. And it's quicker to size, uh, quicker's debatable, but it's really quick and easy, not fiddling with the pin and collar systems like what Seiko have and stuff like that. And the links being so small, you'll be able to get it pretty darn, uh, it's pretty adjustable. It's very adjustable compared to some of the other big links and you can't get it just right. So. I think this one's going to be real easy to, to get right where you want it. That's the first thing, split pins for $1,800 watch. All right, uh, let's just take a look at the back for a second on this one, okay? Now, the back is the case back, all right? The movement is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The perlage, the rotor, is it's, you know, you can see some of the, looks like a little bit rougher, uh, you know, brushing on the rotor, but there's perlage, and it's a pretty good looking looking um, movement in there. You know, and it says sapphire crystal. That's, that's one of my rubs. Stainless steel, the model number, 10 bar water resistance. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Sapphire crystal, yes. On the front, yes. On the back, this is mineral crystal. Okay, I got the diamond tester out. It does not even register. It is a mineral crystal on the back, which again, People will say, okay, yeah, that's 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 fine. I mean, it's wearing against your wrist. How is it really going to get scratched? That's not the point. The point is, this is almost a $2,000 watch, okay? A $2,000 watch, and you can't spring for sapphire on the back, too? I'm, I'm perplexed. You got Zelos and some of these other brands for $500 are giving you screw pins, are giving you better boxes, are giving you sapphire on both sides, and... Tissot, you can't throw a sapphire crystal on there? 
okay, that's that's minor, uh, I guess. But it's still I still have to point it out. It's not sapphire on the back. With that being said, this is a gorgeous watch. It wears beautifully. It looks gorgeous, and I think this thing is going to be popular as hell. So let's uh, get a wrist shot and see what that looks like. Take off the mill gauss. Throw this bad boy on. All right, Jen. So there's that's a, that's a power watch, man. That thing is beautiful, beautiful. So let's get a loom shot and uh, see what that looks like. All right, guys. So there it is. That's the hands look pretty good, but to tell you the truth, the indices. That's kind of disappointing. The indices are not all that great. So, uh, you know what, guys, let's flip this camera around and go get the final thoughts. All right, guys, so there it is, the Tissot PRX Automatic Chronograph. Guys, what do you think? I am, I'm actually impressed. Now, I know it may sound like I came down a little bit hard on this one, but it's because the, the, the price that they're asking, and like I said, I get it with the movement, and, you know, it is a very well-made watch. I just think they skimped a little bit on the middle crystal on the back. I don't see why they couldn't have thrown an extra sapphire on there for that price. The split pins, I get it, they're functional, but you'd expect a little bit, maybe more secure system for almost two grand. You can get a lot of watch for two grand out there, trust me. You guys, leave some comments in the down below and, and let me know what, if you had two grand, would you spend it on this knowing now that it's got split pins, mineral crystal and the little and the standard box comes in and I get it. Look, you're paying for the watch. I've said it before. I would much rather put the money into the watch than the box, but there's kind of an experience that comes to with buying a watch. And when you experience watch brands like Zelos, especially and some of these other ones that come in now metal boxes, they come in beautiful boxes. They have leather watch rolls. They have metal warranty cards. They have screw pins. They have all, you know, you're kind of expecting the bigger brands to step up to that. And so there's kind of experience of opening a nice box. Yes, absolutely. The box goes under a shelf somewhere, sits on a shelf and is usually never touched again. But it's just one of the things that kind of speaks quality to it. Other than that, it's a great watch. It freaking wears awesome and it's beautiful. I'm gonna get some shots and throw it up on Instagram and, and as soon as I release this video, guys. So guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And as always, rock that watch.